all right guys welcome today we're gonna be going through my three favorite best stealth builds so we're gonna be going through the stealth archer we're gonna be going through the ninja assassin build and through the unarmed boxer stealth build so i've broken it down into core abilities abilities that you should take for each different sub category you want to go for and some optional skills and then we're going to be looking at some weapon mods and oh, of course starborn powers so for the core build we want to be getting four points in stealth points in concealment because this is going to boost your damage significantly one point in gymnastics to get the slide one point in the boost pack training to get the buff to be able to use boost packs and Four points in spacesuit design down the line so that you can actually modify your spacesuits and not just rely on finding them and buying them or getting a, getting drops for them especially since you want to be customizing them now for backgrounds i would consider cyber runner for sniper ronin for the ninja assassin and bouncer for the boxer why why is this well, bouncer will give you both three really useful abilities if you go down the, um, the boxer route Cyber Runner will give you stealth, security, and theft. So again, some really useful abilities if you go down the sniper build. And if you want to go down the melee weapon, it will also give you a point in dueling and stealth and a point in scavenging. Now, so there's three different subclasses. Let's start with the stealth sniper. As a stealth sniper, you want to be focusing on ballistics, rifle certification, marksmanship, sniper certification, sharpshooting, armor penetration, weapon design, and one point in rapid reloading if you do so, please. Let's go through them real quick. If you enjoy the content, please drop a subscribe, like the video, it really helps. And it helps me also to understand what videos you like and make more of them. Thank you for being here. So you wanna be focusing on ballistics because it will boost your damage significantly with ranged weapons and it's also going to increase your range you're going to be getting rifle certification because your rifles will be doing more damage and most snipers are considered rifles in in this game you're going to be getting marksmanship because again this increases your critical hit chance by a lot so definitely three points maybe even get the four point i also like the sniper certification a lot because your scope weapons are going to be sturdier going to have less sway you can hold your breath, you can do your headshots do more damage, and your scoped weapons do more damage. And additionally, you definitely want to be getting sharpshooting, because this will increase your headshot and critical damage by a lot. Additionally, armor penetration is a good skill if you don't find the armor, ignore the armor piercing rounds modification on your items. So it's possible to find the shattering weapon perk on your weapon and this will break through armor however if that's not the case arm four points in armor penetration will boost your damage as well so finally you want to be getting weapons engineering because with weapon engineering you can actually craft the best mods you can on the weapon and therefore get the best buffs possible so that's the that's a stealth build. That, that's, and remember, guys, just just a quick note: if you're going with stealth, suppressors will do will help your weapon do more damage. So if you can put a suppressor on your weapon, you should. And if you have a choice between a suppressed and a non-suppressed weapon, definitely go for the suppressed sniper weapon. Additionally, you're gonna be harder to detect, and concealment will also increase your damage by a lot when you're doing ranged sneak attacks by four times as much. And the numbers really go crazy. So I don't even have everything that I'm talking about in this build and my sniper shots already do 1800 damage. Also note that the hard target rifle is probably one of the strongest rifles you can get for this mode. Rifle guys is probably the strongest weapon you can get for this build. And again, I don't have any mods on it, so my damage is significantly less. But alternatively, you could go for an AA-99 which does a lot of damage however keep in mind if you do choose to go down this weapon route the mods are going to be a little bit different i'm just going to show you and the perks that you're going to be looking for because for example this this weapon does a lot of hits so you want to be getting the furious perk on it because each, each consecutive hits is going to be dealing more damage 
and again a lot of hits means that you want to get randomly deals extra damage because there's a lot of hits because it's an automatic weapon so you want to be getting stuff that actually will will trigger where if you go the hard target rifle you're going to be doing one damage uh one shot to kill the enemy so yeah this is a sniper build now let's go through the let's go through the ninja and the boxing build now for the boxing build i have made a video however the the main difference they're very similar these two builds however the boxing the the weapons build doesn't require points into boxing or neuro strikes so this is actually the easiest one of the of the three builds to get going so if you really want to start out with one of the three and then get the abilities for the rest i would definitely start out with a ninja build the assassin ninja build and then you're still going to be able to do a lot of damage and you're going to be going online faster now the skills necessary for the ronin are dueling wellness fitness pain tolerance and martial arts for, bo for the boxing variant, it's boxing, wellness, fitness, pain tolerance, dueling, martial arts, and neuro strikes. So as you can see, there's two more skill points. Um, again, I, I rate them in terms of damage, tankiness, and utility. So the way I would level up with these builds is I, was, I would go for the damage. And if I found myself lacking tankiness or utility, running out of oxygen, for example, I would go down the, the utility options. Or if I found myself lacking tankiness, I would go down these options and I would even consider medicine if I run out of if I run out of HP really fast what I do want to talk about is the optional skills now if you really want to you can go down the isolation route you can pick points in persuasion or scavenging or theft or commerce whichever you want but what is really important is this one isolation it's I do have it as an optional because it requires you to not have a, an ally with you but the, the perks you gain is 40% weapon damage and 60 damage resistance for each space suit, suit and helmet equipped when you don't have a, a companion or any crew. So this will actually increase your damage a lot. And to be honest, when you're doing stealth builds, your allies, apart from Andreja, are very bad. So enemies see them all the time. They can't sneak. So I found that that's a little bit annoying. So I would rather go down the isolation round. And go lone wolf so it is optional because you might not want to do that I, additionally i would consider security because there's a lot of doors that will allow you to get the advantage on your enemies and medicine if you go down the melee build and you find yourself needing more healing this will increase your healing with medical kits which should buy a lot for each point like 10 percent more healing and 10 percent faster so let's talk about starborn powers so there's a lot of good starborn powers for these builds. What I do like a lot when you're going ninja is the sense star, star stuff. Essentially, this ability allows you to see all enemies in an area around you. So this helps you a lot when you are sneaking. Now, alternatively, you can go for void form. However, void form is very similar to the chameleon ability that you can get, the chameleon perk you can get on your art mode. So if you can go, if you can get that, then you definitely don't need to be wasting your one and only ability that you can have equipped on that. Now for the melee builds, there's also some other good stuff like reactive shield, which will defend you against enemy projectiles or craft dash, which will close the gap between you and some enemies. If you start combat, wow, if you get discovered and you have to fight your way out of something, some place can help you close the gap or run away and it also boosts your damage a little bit and anti-gravity field will essentially essentially make your enemies vulnerable to certain types of damage and again since star stuff again will show you your, their position so you can plan ahead very well here's the weapon modes so okay let's talk a little bit about armors and weapons because there's a lot of options so for the melee builds these are the armor mods that i recommend and for their perks, for the armor, I recommend getting Acrobat or cha Chameleon, Acrobat, O2 Boosted, Bolstering and, or Sturding. Any of these five would do, and they would be really good and help your playstyle. Alternatively, for the Sniper build, I would recommend Chameleon, Headhunter and Sentinel.
boxer build has no weapons. The assassin build, I would go for the Wakizashi <laughs> Katana. And I would go I would get Frenzy, Instigating, and Rabbit for it. Essentially, these are gonna be really helpful because instigating does double damage on targets with full HP, so this is gonna boost your assassination a lot. Rapid will give you more attack speed. Frenzy will give you a small chance to frenzy an enemy target. Now, for the sniper build, there's a lot of weapons to choose from. I would recommend, again, as I, as I said earlier, I would recommend the hard target rifle with these weapon modes. And, and hand loading, hitman, and shattering on perks. So remember, the weapon perks, you get them when you, draw, when you find the weapon. But the weapon mods, you can change yourself. So the reason I go for the, these weapon perks is because they're, we're prioritizing single hit, single hit executions with our sniper with these builds. And this, one, this build is going to have a lot of range. However, this AA-99 rifle, even though it will have less range, it will do a lot of hits consecutively very fast. So you're still going to be able to really quickly execute enemies but it does focus on doing more attacks in a very short amount of time. And again, always get suppressors, su suppressors guys. It's, in, it's important to have suppressors because they boost your damage a lot. So this is the build, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please let me know if I've missed out on something. And yeah, if you enjoy the content, please drop a subscribe. It's really helpful. It really helps the channel, like the, the video, so that I know which ones to make more of. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.